Hello students, nice to be back again. It's so nice to see all of you okay, taking part in the class. It's being responsible, no? Students being responsible and attending the class. Okay, with this, we will begin today's value education class. The topic for the day is being responsible citizens. Being responsible citizens. Okay, so who are the citizens? Anyone residing in the country. Okay, so we are citizens of India. Okay, and at large, we are citizens of India, of the world, but we are citizens in the state and in our villages, wherever we are. Okay, in the towns, wherever we are, we are, we are and we need to be a good, responsible citizens. Okay, but here a case is in this case here, uh, Rahul, a boy uh, who seemed to be a bit not so responsible. He is a kind of maybe not listening to the parents being told often to be careful. Okay. Uh, that's how he become kind of negligent, okay, negligent boy, and then he forgets things because he doesn't bother to save the energy or to do his duties, what he is supposed to do. So that makes him, that becomes a habit, okay, and uh, what happens is, as a result, he doesn't bother about things, the thing being wasted, Okay, so in spite of mother telling again and again, uh, reminding him, see, you need to take care of the things, you need to be responsible, but he doesn't bother about that, okay, let it be, who cares about it, you know, so with that, with that attitude, he grows up, okay, finally, see, he, he needed to learn a lesson, so it happens one day in his house, uh, we are going to read this. See, Rahul, okay, a boy who is considered as careless boy. Why? As I briefed you, as I told you, he was not listening to the parents, okay, of the reminders. Like, turn this off, okay, turn off the light, switch off the fan, okay, and then turn off the taps. Don't leave your water running while you are brushing. You can turn it up and when you want to rinse your mouth at that time only you turn it up. So, you know, put the uh, soap, uh, soap case, not anywhere, the papers, anything. Don't make mess in the room, drop in the dustbin. Okay, don't throw your clothes here and there. Put in the you know laundry bag or if it has to be in the cupboard, put there, put in the right place. Okay. So, that was supposed to be uh, done by Rahul, but no, so many reminders uh, his mother was giving, see, he was, that's why he was a kind of a careless boy, and then mother, being careful lady, uh, a housemaker, she always said, see, she was always careful, and she always reminded his, uh, uh, this boy, uh, Rahul, to be careful, like her, okay, because we need to learn from when we are small itself, then only other, otherwise all of a sudden it will, the good habit will not come, good manners will not come all of a sudden. It has to be developed gradually, okay, day by day, with one sacrifice or with one effort, with one endurance, okay, so that way we need to increase in our um, habit, good habit, day by day, okay. So, mother is trying to teach, but he is not accepting it, not doing it, but taking things seriously, okay, and then she so reminds him of, see, he's really wasting too much of water, he's not turning off the tap, he's just leaving the water, and then he's brushing, okay, and he doesn't take care of uh, the uh, electricity bill, how much it is, you know, the big amount is coming, okay, for both water and electricity, and then uh, it's creating uh, the this uh, mother had to pay a lot for both of these, okay? So water and electricity, big bill was done. So mother reminded him often, okay? And then he told him, see, you, you know, when you waste water, okay, when you don't, uh, you know, uh, 
uh, uh, take care of the water and electricity, what happens? Of course, we have to pay the huge amount of bill as well as there will be shortage of water. There will be power cut. We are having the power cut in the state or in the country. Why? The reason is a lot of wastage. Okay, a lot of wastage. We don't take care of, you know, the electricity. We just leave it on. Okay, we just leave it on. We don't uh, take care of, uh, you know, turning off the fans when we are not in the room or turning up the uh, light or turning off the computers when we are not using it. Okay, the music will be played on, the TV will be on, we will be somewhere. Isn't it? So like that, a lot of, in order to charge that, what we need? We need, of course, electricity. So we are wasting it. Okay, when we are not utilizing it, means we are wasting it. So uh, if we waste water and electricity, we have to face the shortage of that. Where will we get water if we waste a lot of water? Hmm? There won't be water to cook our rice, or take bath, wash our clothes, water, clean our homes. Isn't it? The consequence we have to bear. If we are not careful with the things, okay, uh, being provided, okay, then what happens is we will face the consequences and when we uh, when we face the shortage, okay, when we face the power cut, what happens? How to charge our mobile, okay? Where is the light? How to iron? How to put? How to uh, uh, boil our water? So for everything we use electricity. See. And we need water as well. So both of these are really, really, uh, you know, important elements we need to take care of. Okay, we have to preserve it, use it, okay, uh, mindfully, without wasting it. So what happens is, in spite of reminder again and again and again and again, one day in his house, yes. Flooded. Okay, so his house get flooded. And how? So both mother and uh, son is not there. Mother is gone to office. A son is gone for tuition. He has, he was crossing and he left the uh, vertical uh, tap. And he forgot to close the uh, tap. Okay, turn off the tap. And he just left like that because there was no water. Water shortage. See, water shortage was there, so there was no. Uh, and he forgot to turn off. Okay, and then he just simply went to his tuition class. Now, there is no one at home with the water supply start coming again. What happens? He has left the tap on, and what happens? The water will get all everywhere, no? So, if, the, if it is uh, the, the, uh, the basin is uh, clean and there is nothing in the and that uh, that uh, hole where what what drain that water will be uh, going down okay passing if it is blocked that will create a flood in the house and probably he is all got flooded because the drain was blocked and what could be the reason for being a drain being blocked blocked there uh, you must have placed something in the put something or kept something in the uh, that uh, drain uh, that uh, what you call hole uh, with the drain okay it's that it's okay so like yeah so if something you keep here what happens how will the water get drained okay so he left the tap open okay it was on the tap was on the water supply continued and then another thing the water would not have uh, you know the room would not have flooded but what the another reason in addition to this is carelessness what he had done was left the soap at the side and not in the soap dish because he had left the soap at the basin at the side he had not put in the soap dish and kept aside what happened that soap slipped off and got into the place where the water had to be drained okay so what happened so it blocked the water and where will the water go if it, it has to go down in the drain it doesn't go so it will flow from you know from it gets full and it will flow so that's how his house got flooded okay so now 
both of them are not in the house. This, the, house the water is running and running. The, the building, whole building, is, you know, his house is flooded and the whole building is going to get that, the, the, create the consequences of that because they are living in the building and then there will be the building where there will be different flats, different families will be staying and if my, how you know, my, from my house, if there is some kind of water spillage, then what happens? It will go down on the stairs or if there is a lift and if there is a lift or elevator of, uh, you know, elevator in the, the building, then what happens? So it will, uh, it will get spoiled, isn't it? There can be a big accident. Okay, so uh, these two are not in the house. Now, how to how to stop the water unless they clean and they they check where it is you know the, the water is going okay and then what happens is the neighbors uh, come out and they just turn up the main connection main supply for the whole building that means other people not only Rahul and mother the family but also the other neighbors staying in that building whole building had to suffer because now they had to disconnect the main water supply line okay that means all the family also will not get so because of the carelessness of one person the whole building so many families have to suffer all right now so the the neighbors called up to mother and said your your room your house is flooded now it's the water is coming out on the stairs it's getting in the elevators. So what to do? Now we will uh, turn up the, please come fast. Okay, we'll turn up the main line at that way. When they reached there, and now neighbors started school to see, you care this way, you need to be responsible. And then mother hurriedly went to the, opened the door and went to the place where he was brushing and where he had blocked the drain, okay, because of the carelessness. He removed the soap from the, uh, from that sink, that uh, the drain, the mouth of that drain, okay, and then removed, and then the water got drained, and then the remaining, all the good neighbors, good, they were very kind, very helpful. They came together with the bucket and with the uh, all that uh, uh, mopping, you know, clothes, okay, and then mopping stick, okay, and then they came with that, and then they started sweeping and cleaning and drying the house. Everybody was so helpful at this moment. They were not angry with uh, them and, uh, you know, their scolding, continuous scolding. No, it was not happening at that time because they were responsible citizens. They started first drying up the house, cleaning the house, everything, everything was, everything got fine. See, the, the boy is watching now, he's a small one, he's watching and observing how the neighbors are so helpful, so kind, okay. So, he now realizes, see how fairness because of me, this whole building, the people, my neighbors had to suffer, bear the consequences of my carelessness, now I need to be good citizen like them yeah i need to be careful okay, so now so he realizes that where he was going wrong and if he continually do wrong if you don't take care of uh, what is being told to us to do the correct thing the right thing okay or good manners or the right way of doing things if you don't do and the consequences will be very very bad okay so that way he realizes and he thanks his neighbors who helped because they were so concerned to see the if the, the, the this one uh, the furniture get damaged other other things are there in the house okay because of the water it will get damaged isn't it so furniture the property will be damaged so the neighbors were so happy see now let, let's let's clean this first let's dry this so that the furniture will not be damaged so the wooden furniture will be damaged, isn't it? So it, it sucks water too much. Okay. So and other things are there, carpets are there, so far. Uh, every everything will get damaged. So that way the neighbors were so kind, they started helping, worsening, cleaning, drying, okay, 
And then the house, so he, the house is cleaned, of course, and the boy also realizes that. See, mother, now mother did not say to him. So he, seeing that consequences, the mother also had to face that the neighbors called and maybe mother's mo uh, the neighbors must have you know scolded no you didn't didn't teach your son that way isn't it okay but uh, and then uh, the other thing is he saw that how good the neighbors were like good citizens neighbors they were helping so concerned of their property of their house of that family and they were cleaning the stairs and the elevators wherever the water went see so they were cleaning and they they seeing that their their goodness their helpfulness their uh, their uh, good uh, characteristic of a good citizen so seeing that he realizes that he also needs to be a responsible citizen a good boy a careful boy Right, so he realizes that one and Rahul changed for the better. Okay, change for the better. That means he is going to be what? Of course, careful. What else? What else? Careful. And then he is going to be thoughtful. See how the neighbors are working, no? They are careful, thoughtful, he is going to be kind to the others, he is going to be helpful. Okay, so with all of this he practices, he becomes a responsible citizen. Okay, not only a responsible citizen, but a loving son, a loving neighbor. All right, that's a good asset for himself, isn't it? Learning good thing, good value, good uh, uh, um, attitude. Okay. All this is an asset for me to grow, for you to grow. I learn new things. Okay, so that way, uh, his realization from uh, careless boy to the becoming the careful boy, so it could be that in our case also, if we are going somewhere wrong, if we are careless in different ways, so we need to in our behaviors, our manners, all right? And we also need to, okay, we are doing a lot of wastage, okay? And not taking care of the common goods, okay? Where we are laboring and maybe creating a lot of havoc, okay? In the place in the building that we are staying, or the places in the society, Okay, or in the school. So wherever we are, we need to be careful and behave like a responsible citizen. So all everything it depends on how I take it when it comes to me. Okay, how I take it now. He took it positively. The and the situation here was quite tense, but because so neighbors were kind and good. He learned that here and he learned from that. He realized that and now he changed for the better. So we also in some way or the other, if anything is needed to be corrected in us, we will try to change for the better. All right. So see you in the next class. Try to be better. Citizen. All right. Take care. Bye.